Medical experts say one sign you may have COVID-19 is a fever. There are many different types of thermometers out there being used, so how accurate are they? We sent News 8's Shannon Handy to find out. It's something more and more businesses are doing, taking people's temperatures before entry. We tested three types of thermometers. The traditional one that goes under the tongue, one place right on the forehead, and an infrared no contact. The idea for this story came from News 8 photographer Rachel Eastridge after a recent trip to Zion Market. A security guard took her temperature before entering the store. On Monday, it read 93 degrees. Take a temperature? Yeah. A reading that seemed inaccurate. On Thursday, it was 97. Anything between 97 and 99 degrees is considered normal. But according to medical experts, not all thermometers are created equal. We wanted to compare to see the difference. No. So, so take your temperature. Okay. At Kaiser Permanente, you must have your temperature checked when entering the building. An infrared reading showed mine a bit high. 99.9, so a little high, but it's probably due to the sun. 99.9 degrees. But when a thermometer was placed in my ear. So this one's about 97.5, so. Okay. A little lower, yeah. Okay, so would that be more accurate? Yes, this will be more accurate. Psy Custodio says outside factors like the weather or sometimes user error can change results. The most accurate? Anything internally is going to be more accurate. A couple hours later, we decided to try our own infrared thermometer. Error. Error. That happened several times. Now, a thermometer under the tongue. 94.3. One minute later. Okay, so 96 degrees which is pretty low. And finally, one placed on the forehead. 92.4. As for Rachel, 97.4. The results varied significantly. What does this tell us? While thermometers give us a sense of security, you can't rely on them solely. Your best bet, stay home if you're sick, wear a mask if you're out, and always practice good hygiene. Doctors still advise it's a good idea to have a thermometer at home. Depending on what kind you get, they can range from around $10 to more than 100 Back to you. You know, we started having this conversation actually a couple of months ago at work. Someone had a thermometer. We thought we'd get our temperatures checked, and everybody was really low. I think I was at about 87 degrees, which would be a bit of a red flag, but clearly that was an issue with the thermometer, so you do have to be careful. Yeah, that one just didn't seem right, but the new ones, one thing we've learned, get your baseline. Take your temperature while you're, while you're well a couple of times to establish what your normal operating temperature is, so that way you can test for variants when you feel sick. And new studies show that for the average human, that's a little lower than it used to be. So you really should know what you are on a typical day. Absolutely. Especially, especially us because we're just cool, Barb. That's <laughs> right. <laughs>